Hello everyone, it's Master Ben here and welcome to the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, day one. And today it's all about Drake. Now I won't lie, I don't like Drake. I think the design language is cheap, but to be honest, that's what Drake's all about at the end of the day. But with that being said, Drake has just released a few new ships today and oh my gosh, it's really hard to not love them. So just to make it clear, this video is not going to be for everyone. This is a test of concepts, so just please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any feedback, I really would be grateful to hear it. This video is intended for people who cannot make it to the expo or would just like a recap of what happened during the day. So if you want to join me for a run around to the new ships and see what madness goes on the limited wholesales, join me, sit back, relax, as I take you through Drake Day from IAE. Now I won't be going over every single ship on sale, for example the Cutlass line, I think people know these well enough. And with that being said, if you are brand new to the game, please consider using my referral code when signing up for the free fly for 5,000 AUC to spend all you like. And there really are some great packages on sale today. Right, let's begin with the main floor. The Corsair is the brand new exploration ship gracing our screens for the first time today. The Corsair seems to ask the question, how much firepower can we really give the pilot without making the UEE turn their heads and ask them questions? Clocking in with six hard points attached to the pilot's seat, this four-person exploration vessel is ready to take on pretty much anything, except turning corners, which it doesn't particularly like. And with that being said, for a go-anywhere exploration ship, the clearance when landing is abysmal. It's so low, I wish anyone the best of luck when landing a pirate. But maybe you'll prove me wrong and find landing pads everywhere you go. And how much do you have to pay for the privilege of taking this beast home? Well, that would be $229 war bond, and that's including a 20% tax for all you tea drinkers out there in the UK. Now, with that being said, the Corsair is currently free to fly in-game, along with almost everything else in the expo today. So all you have to do is run up to a ship, hold F, and you can rent it for the day. Moving on from the Corsair, we have the Vulture. Now, this is the only ship today that you can touch, but you can't fly. And the reason for that is, for those of you who don't know, 3.18 was meant to be out by now. This was also going to bring along salvaging, but sadly that didn't happen and CIG instead rolled out a small patch. So what we have here today is a model of the Vulture. Now this ship really hyped me up the most. There is something about the look of the Vulture that just so isn't Drake. The bright yellow, sharp edges really work for me. And while I may be a combat man at heart, there will always be some messes to clean up after a fight. So this could definitely come in handy. But what does the Vulture actually do? Well, it's a hole scraping ship. The idea is you fly up to a ship, alive or dead, as long as the shields are down, and rip its armor off and turn it into recycled metal. To be honest, this sounds like an incredibly fun game loop, especially when you hear about the new derelict ships that are going to be hidden in asteroid belts. But Ben, I hear you say, how much do I have to pay for the privilege of taking part in salvage? Fear not, citizens. The Vulture is only $142, as this is one of the ships you can't fly yet. If you do like the Vulture, it may be a good idea to pick up a cheap CCU for $5, just so you can lock that price in, and then if the Vulture increases in price, you can still get it for that lower deal. Or even better, this, this one may shock a few of you, if you just wait for a bit, this ship will be in game for free. Now the Vulture has actually been teased back at Invictus earlier on this year, so this model's been done for a while. It will still be there when the game comes out, and if you've really waited this long to play salvage, you can probably wait for the Vulture as well to be free in game. And with that being said, if you have to play salvage in 318, which I will be doing, I'm just going to grind out a Reclaimer. It's in game already, actually has more salvaging lasers, and it's going to be far more fun for multi crewing So all in all, I hope you understand my sarcasm when I'm telling you how much these ships cost, and you can buy them all in game for free. The final showstopper on the floor today is the Cutter. Now this is a starter ship, and boy does it have me confused. A few months back, I made a video saying the Mustang was the best starter ship due to its low price and fun characteristics. But if you were thinking of buying Sarsitson during IAE, this is a ship for you, as it's the exact same price as the Mustang, so that's $45 for UK people for the ship and game package, and a nice skin if that's what you're into. The price offering here is just crazy. A great cargo area, an awesome design, and that's coming from a Drake hater. Well, not really a hater, I just don't like rust and cables when I'm flying along. The ship can also fit a small ground vehicle with some creative driving, we'll say it that way. Plus, this is the most modern starter ship by quite some way, and it's really starting to show. The cutter has some really interesting features, such as sliding doors, more light switches, and a really well done interior that just makes it probably the best starter ship available right now. However, at full price after IAE, is it really worth it? Possibly. 
if you're looking for the cheapest option to get into Star Citizen, which everyone should be, then get the Mustang in my opinion. You will grind out of a starship so quickly there's really no point in spending more than the absolute minimum to get into the game. And I really doubt you'll be pleading to get back in your cutty after the time you've grinded something bigger. And that really wraps up the new content on the show floor today. Of course, alongside these free ships, you can play and buy every single Drake ship to your heart's desire, including a very little, tiny, small concept ship that wasn't on the main floor today. You may have heard of it, it's called the Kraken, Kraken Privateer. Yes, my friends, weighing in at just $1,650 or $2,000 for the Kraken Privateer, the Kraken asks the question, do you really need that kidney? In all seriousness, this is a carrier. It's designed to carry multiple ships wherever you need to go and also get in the thick of a fight with multiple size 8 turrets. Obviously, with that being said, it's still a concept and quite an early one at that. We don't know how it will be implemented and we don't know when it could be implemented. It could be five years, it could be 10 years, could be tomorrow we really don't know and it does come at the cost of a holiday a phone or electricity bills but at the end of the day spend your money how you wish to spend it and there we have it folks drake day summed up into the most important parts we did also see a caterpillar war bond saving 25 dollars before tax which is quite nice so maybe check out my ccu game video to understand how this could help you save money when buying an even bigger ship or the best way to save all of your money is just wait don't rush into the game and buy anything. Remember, all of these ships that are on sale today will be available in-game for free right now or in the future. Don't get forced into the FOMO of buying new things. Yes, the Corsair is really cool and will probably be great to look around Pyro in. The Cutty is also amazing and the Warbond price is incredible. So if you are looking to get into the game, this is what I would recommend. But really have a good play around in the free flight before you spend a penny. The Vulture could be awesome, the game loop looks really fun, and what we've had teased so far looks really interesting as well. So if you really love the Vulture, possibly pick up a CCU just so you lock in that lower price. But all in all, I'd really recommend you just wait. At the end of the day, in IE, just remember to relax. All these ships will be on sale for the entire week, minus a few daily Warbond offerings. But don't sprint out and think you need to buy everything just because your friend or augment has it. Spend wisely, and more importantly, enjoy the free fly. Get some friends into the game and have fun, and make sure we use referral code. Mine's off on screen right now. What a chance that is! So thank you so much everyone for watching. I really hope you liked this concept of video. It's a little bit more of script and focusing on the day-to-day -day of Star Citizen. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you hated it and want me to make another review video, it is coming. It's just taking quite a while, but I promise it will be worth it. Thank you folks, and I'll see you soon.